It's the Andrew Fox Show. Tonight's guest, comedian Latisse, comedian Jesse Dram. I'm James McLoney. Now here's your host, Andrew Fox. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Andrew Fox Show. I am your host, Andrew Fox, and with me as always is James McLoney. How are you doing today, James? Good. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for welcoming to my, me to my show. <laughs> yeah. Very nice of you. And everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> You were in New York this weekend. Uh, yeah. Telling I, jokes? I was, yeah. How did you fare? Um, well, you know, it's a lot of walking. You uh-huh. walk between different comedy outlets. Well, that's what you took out of it? Yeah. I guess that she didn't do well? No, I, I did really you well. concerned about the walking? I, I don't know. What should I be concerned about? Well, did you have a good set? Yeah, I had... The uh, comedy, I tell you this all yes, the time. Yes, I did. Concerned about the comedy. Yes, I'm right. concerned about it right My now. My first four were good sets, and then I petered out for the last two. What did you do? I petered. You petered? Out. I petered. No, no, that's horrible. <laughs> what happened? You just got tired. I think from I got tired from all the walking. <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah, I was walking like 1.2 miles between oh, different boy. lakes. Yeah. Oh, it shows. I, I yeah. I mean, well, my my leg muscles. It shows. Oh, really? Can you show us? <laughs> show us. Oh, uh, okay. They're pretty... You, uh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ooh. And let me try and flex. Uh, 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 yeah. oh, See what's that? Uh, Mr. <laughs> Andrew Fox. Ah, uh, Jesse Graham. Stop for the comedian Jesse uh, Graham. What brings you here? Uh, what is this? It's a talk show. Oh, is it? Yeah. Got a lot of production value in this talk show. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, yeah. How are you, James? Nice to meet you. <laughs> we've so met we've so met messy. dozens of times. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, I see. It's just I'm just not that This is exciting. No, this is this, is, this, is, this seems to be a theme that, you know, everyone just forgets about little old Jesse. James, may I have your seat? Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess your cabs aren't that strong after all. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, hello, Mr. Fox. It's good to see you. How it's are okay. you this evening? I'm doing good. Any good jokes tonight? Yeah, we had some good jokes. We had I'm sure. A little banter back and forth, James. Mm-hmm. You have. Yeah. Do you have a problem? S- Can you ask Andrew if he's aware why I'm so angry with him? Uh, I, yeah. Do you know why he's angry? <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> Did you do this? I thought you made you two were in cahoots. You mm-hmm. put on the he doesn't even know me. <laughs> I've never seen, never seen this man in my life. I thought you were bigger in South mm-hmm. Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, so did I. <laughs> okay, I some papers. Um, tell me yeah. if you uh, happen to notice this. Could, could you read that out loud for us? Uh, could you identify uh, what that this is? This is a very funny joke I put on Facebook. Indeed it is. It says, uh, all the celebrities that died in 2016 were just trying to get out before they got hit with sexual assault charges in 2017. Prince <laughs> <laughs> and Bowie would have been toast. You know what? That's a very clever joke. Thank you. That is a I'm very you brought clever that. joke. Jesse Graham, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. I am not your joke. Well, actually, I was going to say I'm not your joke delivery boy, but guess what? What? The plot thickens. If you'll notice the date on this, November 16th in the year of our Lord, 2017. Mm-hmm. Would you kindly please read this for me? Now, now it's this one. Uh, well, first you might want to identify who said it. Uh, Jesse Dram. Oh, yeah. really? I've never heard of him. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, James hasn't either. All right, well, let's see what you said. It's good Prince and David Bowie died when they did. They never would have gotten out of those sexual scandal flood alive. There's a lot to be said about dying just at the right time. Hey, it sounds a lot like my joke, Jesse. Yeah, would you kindly read the date? Uh, sure, I'm sure it's later than mine. November 10th. November 10th, 6 entire days. <laughs> Six days. <laughs> oh. Now, Mr. Prince Nelson and Mr. David Bowie, yeah. real name David Jones, passed away over a year ago, so clearly this wasn't some type of in-the-air spirit of conversation. What do you have to say for yourself? 
Uh, I think I should have a lawyer present. <laughs> you think you should have a lawyer present? <laughs> yeah. You should have thought about many things before you did this. <laughs> you have nothing to say? Uh, you know what? You can a... get a lawyer, buddy. You know why? I got a nasty little word for you. What's that? Premeditation. <laughs> what? I don't On this, pre right I don't here, to you, yeah. right here, what? you can see, right there, the... I don't, maybe I just never this saw this is joke. Maybe the I never just saw that yeah, The smoking saw gun. <laughs> he liked it. He <laughs> liked my post. joke. He, he liked my joke. Put it in his back pocket, no, like, and then too. told it as it was his own, and he even got more likes than me. <laughs> wow. Sir, I have one question. Yeah. Who the f do you think you are? This is a family show. <laughs> Who do I think I am? A way to show off the nice little wedding ring. Ooh, I'm so worried. <laughs> you were so worried about your family's reputation when you saw. Hey, late night hey, show. Hey, hey, yeah, why don't you get him out of here? Yes, yeah, big boy. Let's go. <laughs> this late night show why is built neck brace? on the, because I am suing you for emotional damages oh, and wages lost. <laughs> Ow, that is not right. I you fell you in shock. Get him out of here. I fell get over my ground. Out of here. Ah. <laughs> 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 I think we might have a bigger lawsuit on our hands now. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, this is your property. Uh, you were the one who pushed them. You took out liability insurance for all of us, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course I did. Oh, good. Whew. Well, uh... uh I just this is to... all hearsay. I don't... I don't, um... I got more likes. Yeah. You told it better. You made it your own. Uh, you, you get more likes, you own the joke. I mean, <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> Carlos Mencia said that at one point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a great show lined up for you tonight. Latisse is here. Oh, she is. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I am excited. Um, about Latisse coming on the show soon. Hopefully Jesse's okay, and uh, it was great to see him. Always fun. Yeah. Our first walk-in. That was exciting. <laughs> 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 All right, so we got more show. We'll be right back after this. And we're back with more Andrew Fox show. Hey, James, are you ready for the first guest? I am. I think we got a big guest. Are you excited? I'm excited. I bet she's been on The View, but I think this is even bigger, so it's pretty exciting <laughs> for her, too, I imagine. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, a lot of people tell me I look like Joy Behar. It's <laughs> true. Yeah. You look like a lot. It, all of it. All of it, yeah. yeah. Similar. This is attitude, yeah. Attitude. Style of comedy, all that. Yeah, and, and you're like a young Barbara Walters. <laughs> I get that a lot, too. Hey, let's not waste some time. Oh. This isn't time for you to make jokes. Yeah, we're not the view. We have a big guest. <laughs> we got serious stuff to talk about. <laughs> uh, let's bring out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Latisse. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice and welcome. Oh, nice and nice. welcome. Yes. James tells me I look like Barbara Walters. That's <laughs> fantastic. And the young ones are all for you. Let's see the redhead. <laughs> it's the Joy Behar thing. So is this as nice as the view? Would you this, say? I love this. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> at this this whole production you have here. So how did you get booked on the view? Oh wow, okay. Interesting story. Yeah. I think um, probably um, around September or October of 2012, mm -hmm. a friend of mine who was doing stand-up at the time saw this blurb about, you think you're funny? You just send it a clip to the view. And she sent me this email, was like, you should really do this. And I'm like, eh, I kind of like blew it off for uh -huh. like a day. And she was like, did you send your clip yet? I'm like, no, I'm going to do it now. And I literally sent it. Uh -huh. I didn't think anything about it. And then I got an email from like one of the producers of the show. And I was like, no, this can't be real. They were like, hey, Elise, we loved your thing. We want you on our show. And I was like, no, no. No. <laughs> so they were like, yes, you're going to be on this date. So it was like a, um, a week long series. Right. They had five of us, uh -huh. five women who were married and funny and 
I got picked out of I don't know how many submissions, maybe maybe a few hundred, uh -huh. and I was the top five that they wow. picked. And it was like one of the most amazing times of my life. <laughs> that, that's how James got on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From several submissions. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You're yes. lucky. <laughs> and then they all back oh down. So. <laughs> but you know what's funny? You asked me about that because the anniversary, the five year anniversary just passed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was November 14th, 2012. <laughs> no, unfortunately. You know what? They haven't done that segment in years. And, you know, they've had a lot of changes. You yeah, know, Joy yeah. left and she was doing her own show. Mm -hmm. And Sherry left and, um, and you know, they, they switched up a lot. But Whoopi is still there. Who Whoopi is still there. Yeah, and Joy's so, back. Yeah, yeah, she is back. And uh, they have one of the, um, what's that guy's name? Her, his daughter. Uh, not Chaney, but the other chick. Um, Megan McCain? That's it, yeah. McCain. So He's the daughter. Yes, they are. That's how you're watching the view. That's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, she, she, she jumped right in after they got rid of uh, Jebediah. Um, so she's the the, the far right uh, of the show. That. Yeah, you need that. James. How long were you doing stand up when you got that? Oh, wow. Okay, so that was, I was only three years in. Wow. Man. Yeah, it was crazy. That's impressive. Thank you. It was wow. weird. Well, wild. you're very good at comedy. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm almost, uh, January will be nine years from me. Nine years, yeah, wow. yeah, but I'm still a baby, you know, that's still, you know, I know people who have been 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. and, and, like, they're just, like, getting other things, you know, they're, they're heading out to L.A. and they're doing yeah. things, so it's, it's something to aspire to. Yeah, I'm going to keep aspiring. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a good job, Andrew. <laughs> Making stand up, at least got the shed. You have the show. You know, yeah, this is a good show. This is going. This is. It, it'll go from the shed to a, a real studio. We'll see. Okay. You know, look at it that way. That's yeah, just, exactly. That's the the grounds for a big studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm serious, <laughs> do it. But. This is great. Then Bill Gates start his garage. That's true. Right? Yeah. And we start we're all engineers. Mm -hmm. and, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take the show. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> so um, a large portion of uh, your camp comedy is uh, inspired by your family. It is. It is. Um, do you enjoy juggling I, being a mom and a stand-up? I do. I yeah. do. It is It is quite the juggle, but fortunately, uh -huh. uh, my husband's very supportive. And when I, when I got into it, my daughter was old enough, and uh -huh. then we had our son, who was maybe like three or four at the time when okay. I first started. So it was kind of easy yeah. to, to get into it, and I loved it. And yeah, so I talked about my marriage and mm -hmm. then um, started, I, I'm starting now to try to add some of my own childhood stuff and yeah. how my mom was and my dad was. So I'm like adding new elements to my stand up. How's that been so far? It's, it's a little hard because yeah. you're like, you, you, you have memories, but you're like, how can I make this funny? Mm -hmm. And that's the hard part, you know? So I'm trying to trying to really live, just like search deep and yeah. figure stuff out. Do you agree with the sentiment that comedy is therapy? It is. You think so? I say that a lot on stage yeah. too because yeah, I feel like you can't, if I don't get on stage, like my, I would have killed my husband years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good when he's still alive, so <laughs> so I hear. So, <laughs> so as long as I stay out of jail, yeah. then I can continue doing stand-up. Exactly. So it's a win-win, and I told him this is what I want to do. Uh, that's the way that you do it. Well, we're here, we're right outside of Philadelphia. I love you see, this, I know. Up. This window is everything. Yes. Your view of your it's shed crazy. is amazing. Like, like what? No one has this. Estate. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Where's your favorite place to perform stand-up around here? Oh, around our area, I would say, um, the punchline is a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's newer. It's big though. It's like a warehouse. You've been yeah. there, right? Yeah. So awesome. the the problem that some comedians are, were having was because the sound travels, mm -hmm. so you can't hear the laughter. Mm -hmm. But you just have to believe that they're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm still the star. <laughs> but it's so big, so it kind of yeah. swallows everything up. So I think when it first opened, everyone was having an issue with trying to yeah. figure that out. I think they they tweaked it, and they have the speakers yeah. pointing in a way that you can hear the audience better now. That's cool. I've heard. So, um, but that's a prime spot, and um, you know, anywhere. I you know, I perform in bars. I mm -hmm. perform in 
restaurants. Um, in fact, last Saturday, well, the Saturday that just passed, I did a fundraiser at a firehouse. So, okay. you know, anywhere, anywhere they say, yeah, yeah, there's a mic and a stage on there. What's mm-hmm. the craziest show you've ever done? Wow. Um, craziest show that I've ever done. I would have to say, oh, um, it was up in PA somewhere. It was, mm-hmm. it was weird. Uh, actually, I have two that came to mind. But the first one, we were like in this basement. Yeah. It was dark. And it was, um, it was weird because it was like maybe six of us on this lineup. And we mm-hmm. were like doing maybe 10 minutes. And I drove for like an hour and a half. I didn't care. I'm like a stage four, so <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was like no pay, which is fine. We're used to that. So, um, but we were like in this hole where <laughs> it was just like it was just like smoke filled, and it was just like just people everywhere. It was real grungy, and I'm just like, hey, I'm here to do stand up. And I I usually walk in these places where I'm like usually like the only black person half the time when I go way out in you know PA somewhere or yeah. The sheds and cherry hill. The sheds, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. And, go and uh, but it ended up being a great show. And yeah. that, like, your first impression is usually the wrong thing sometimes in stand up because you're like, oh my god, this yeah. is. <laughs> and then, and then, like, the people are really cool, and you get up, and they love you, and you have a good time. The other place, though, I went out to Carbondale, PA. Uh-huh. Never been out this place, and this was a three-hour drive one way. Nice. Three hours I drove, right? But it was a cool setup because the bar you came in, it looked like a regular bar, but in the other room, it was like a theater setup. It had a huge stage, it had like a little green room e- entrance, oh, cool. exit, whatever, and we came out from like behind this big wall, right? Uh-huh. So doing this show, and the the weird part came after the show. So I had two lesbians that tried to like get me to stay in Carbondale after <laughs> And I was like, um, thanks, but this wasn't the threesome that I was talking about in my set. Like, this is not what I had in mind. And they were just like, no, I don't know you're you're traveling a long way because like they knew I was like I had a three hour drive. And they're like, you can stay with us. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna go home to my husband. <laughs> So that was probably the strangest. I had two lesbians that wanted to keep me. Like they had a straight cat on the street. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> was very important to me because I have genital herpes. I'm sorry, I thought I told oh, you. Oh no, you like, didn't tell I me, Latisse. No, I you didn't tell I me. Did. No, that's why it looks like a box of cocoa pebbles, okay? My crotch looks like a map of the Rockies now because I, of you. It's your fault. Right? I am sorry. Where are you going? Go yeah. Can I be alone with my bumps that you gave me, please? Come on, it can be just me and you and herpes heaven. Hey, come on, dude. Get your out of the sink. I have cream. You can use mine. There's so many. Is it weird that I'm thinking about naming them? You put on a buy a monthly show yourself. I do. I, you know what's crazy? Like, I had got out of producing shows for a while. Yeah. Now, when I first started, I used to do a room out in Jersey at the Whitman Diner. It's okay. right in Turnersville off of Black Horse Pike. Diner. Yeah, but this was a cool spot. The, yeah. name, the name always threw people off, so I'm like, come to the Whitman. But you walk in one part, it was the diner. The other part was their cool, like, retro lounge that they had. It actually looked like like the future. It was like, it looked like 2020. You walked in there, and it was, like, all laid back. They had tables. They had, like, the bar was in there. Mm-hmm. So it was real chill. And um, so I hosted that. That was a monthly show that I did. And that's how I kind of um, got practicing stage time and bringing other comedians in and yeah. networking and stuff like that. And then um, it lasted two years. I did that for oh, two really? years. Wow. Yeah. But you know what? It irritated me because after a while, I just felt like the the owners of the place, they weren't really supportive. Like, yeah. I'm like, why am I busting my ass yeah. trying to bring people in here on a Thursday mm-hmm. night that you would normally have, right? 
And um, I'm not getting anything in return. Like they wouldn't, nice. they, they had one of those cool digital signs. They barely wanted to post it up mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? So I'm like, come on, y'all can advertise. And at the time I didn't know about asking for a budget. So mm -hmm. I was so new. So I wasn't getting any, I wasn't making any money. They were yeah. making money. So I, I didn't know how to set that up. But now, so <laughs> we're at the top, fast forward. <laughs> Um, we're at the time, so I do a bi-monthly, and I did that because I didn't want to attack it with a monthly show right away. I wanted to yeah. have that nice break so it would take some of the pressure off, right? Mm -hmm. So we're at the Taj now. The next big show coming up is December 10th, it's Sunday, which actually is my birthday. Uh -huh. So it's a big birthday show, and I'm telling you, this lineup is crazy. Plus, I have all these surprise like guests coming in, other comedians coming through. And on top of that, it's going to be my big reveal. So I've been on this weight oh, loss trip, yeah. right? Oh. So back in August, <laughs> I started back in the gym and I made a goal for myself. So, of course, me talking <laughs> I was like, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Okay. So, which it, I'm going to come close. I can honestly tell you, I'm probably only going to be about 15 to 10 pounds off of that by the time right. I get to, to December 10th. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. I'm 25 pounds down, right? Awesome. My body. body fat so now I'm at 33.3% wow. and still going down so I'm just I'm, I'm laser focused Jane, where are you at? and okay <laughs> 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 body fat? well uh uh, one of our friends asked me like they said I bet you weigh 170 pounds I was like add 40 pounds So I was like, I need another co-host. Let me switch the dynamic up. And uh, Carl was available. He's like, I love this. So yeah. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I think it's fun. We have a good, we have a good rapport. Like our banter is fun, mm -hmm. and he's just so silly. And he's a little older than me, so I always tease him about his age. Like he's an old man. He's an old soul. You know. Yeah. So I'm like, you're old. Sit down. But um, no, he's funny, and we have a good time. Can you tell us about when lions attack. Oh gosh, we lost the attack. Which is how I met Andy, by the way. Oh, yeah. One of your good friends and a producer <laughs> and videographer of the show. Yeah. Um, Who's laughing when you hear me? Yeah, as always. Um, we, uh, I actually, I did this class over at Good Good, uh -huh. how to produce a 30, 30 minute show. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea of when Wives Attack came out of that. Okay. And it's like, I have, I made up a cool rap theme song for it. <laughs> that's so awesome. And a uh, cool graphic that I had done. And basically the format was me and I brought in two other funny women. Uh -huh. And at the time it was Joanne Siriganakis and Aaron Mulville. And they came and did stand up and. And, uh, but it was all like do your marriage material so mm -hmm. it was like really like trying to trash our husbands as, as <laughs> as we could. and uh, you know just having fun with it and uh, yeah so that that happened and uh, I actually I might take it over to fit soon right. uh, after the after the first awesome. year so we'll see it's hard though because I'm like I know a lot of female comedians but not everyone is married so mm -hmm. I'm like 
maybe I might either need to change the, the title so yeah. I can encompass more or really hone in on who is married or committed relationship. I did preface that. So yeah. I'm like if you're if you've been with someone more than five years, you could definitely do it. Because <laughs> you know the pain and suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I could be on the husband show. Yeah. <laughs> the special edition. <laughs> Father's Day. Right, you're right. (laughs) Well, where can the people find you online? Oh, everywhere. I'm like a social media whore. (laughs) Um, I'm on all the things. So, (laughs) Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all under Latisse Comedy. That's L A T I C E. Okay, well, it's right here. It's going to be a. Oh, there it is. It's right there. How cool. Your graphics and everything. I love it. I'm telling you, this is a big production. This is a huge production. I love this. And I'm um, also on um, Snapchat. I, You know, I've heard this is for the younger younger crew, but I am on Snapchat. Just under, um, oh. I'm under T's Talk. So it's T I C E and then Talk. And yeah, you can add me on Snap. Awesome. Yeah. The T's comedy was taken. Yeah, no, nah, I just, it was weird because, you know, I went, I went and that's my alter ego. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was like, nobody's going to find me here. <laughs> yeah, no, and no one, no one will find me. Well, thank you for coming on. For having me. That it's means a cool. lot. Oh, thank you. You're one of the comics that we look up to. So, no. Yeah. Get out of here. Really cool that's awesome, you. man. I yeah. appreciate it. You're very welcome. Andy was so excited. Yeah. You, you knew I was coming. I didn't know you were coming. <laughs>
And Jesse Dram. Remember when Jesse Dram came in earlier today? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you want to remember that. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, we'll be back next week with uh, Alex Perlman. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. So have a good night, America. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.